AIR. LUCY stands for the Airborne Lunar Spectral Irradiance Mission. What we're measuring is the amount of light at various wavelengths that are being reflected off the moon. We want to know this because we essentially are using the moon as a benchmark so that Earth observing satellites can turn and look at the moon and set the scale on the amount of light they're measuring from the Earth. So it's kind of an indirect way of actually improving our understanding of the Earth. Both computers are up and running. Artemis has given us a power on. Okay, so now we're going to start logging data. So it's sending code to Artemis. So we've set it up here even before we put it in the plane. We have a system that simulates it being in the airplane so that we can test it all out. In the distance, you can see a disk of light. That's our moon simulator that we use to calibrate the telescope. We measure the moon's brightness by using a spectrometer, which is actually taking light from a telescope that is pointed at the moon. What typically becomes a problem is that you have to contend with the atmosphere. The atmosphere actually affects our measurement greatly. And so we have to actually put that type of instrumentation on the ER-2, which flies up to 70,000 feet and gives us a viewpoint of the moon above 90% of the atmosphere. Almost the same view of the moon as Earth orbiting satellites would have. Okay, that's showtime. In a minute, he'll flip the switch. Yep. Earth observing satellites, we try and calibrate them before they go up, but the calibration always changes. They slowly degrade being in the space environment. And they currently use the moon to trend that degradation. But if we could put a good absolute calibration on the moon, that would allow them to do an improvement on their current calibration scheme. And it would also allow them to intercompare well. So there are a lot of benefits so to having all the Earth observing satellites have this common calibration source. Every instrument that's been launched into space that looks at the moon can benefit from this because knowing what the moon is, and since the moon doesn't change, helps us both in the future and retrospectively. And then we get much more consistent time series of the Earth.